the random jottings of Donald J. in Nelson in Pendle, Lancashire, Burnley, there were a remarkable number of corn mills despite not being in a recognized grain growing area. The milling of corn was one of the oldest industries, and before the coming of powered mills, corn was ground in hand operated stone coons. In the early 14th century, there were already mills in Burnley, Padiham, and Colne. The region's relatively short growing season and cold climate meant that wheat and barley take longer to ripen than oats, which were more suited to the area. Hence, oat cake was an important part of the local diet, and a dish of stew and hard oat cake was a staple until the mid 19th century. In fact, the Duke of Wellington's regiment was known as the Have Cake Regiment, referring to their love of oat cakes. Corn kilns were integral to most of the corn mills in the region. These dried the grain, making it possible to mill it into flour. Without this treatment, a sticky paste would have been produced instead of flour. However, it is worth asking if there was ever a time when corn kilns were not needed in northeast Lancashire, as this could explain why so many mills were built at an early date. Later on, some mills were converted to other uses such as wool and cotton spinning and weaving. King's Corn Mill, Burnley's oldest, was one such mill. Although the site is not marked, it was probably located between Bankfield and Edward Street in the town centre. In the past, there were numerous specialist firms making oat cakes in tiny bakehouses. Corner shops sold, stew and hard, and market stalls offered great, stew and hard. Nowadays, Oatcake nostalgia is more associated with Staffordshire, but North East Lancashire's claim is just as good, and perhaps it should be revived at Queen Street Mill Museum in Harsic. By Donald J.